The Statesboro area transit system is expanding and officials say thousands of people have been catching rides around town, so that means more seats are needed. WSAV's Eden Hodges got a look into the operation. City leaders want to make Statesboro a destination. Nowadays, everywhere you look, you see some new growth. So Statesboro area transit is expanding, taking residents from one destination to the next. Statesboro buses have only been making stops for a year now. Thanks to popular demand, they're looking to double their fleet, adding four more buses. I like that bus because they ain't got no car to ride in, they ain't got no truck, and they'll take you anywhere you want to go all the way around Statesboro, Georgia. They've made over 14,000 trips around the city at $1 per ride, giving residents a cheaper way to get around. I go to Walmart, I go to my doctor's appointments, I, I, and then I take a joy ride if I want to ride. But you can ride, ride all day long with a dollar for a joy ride. Since launching, it's been an overwhelming success. So for a lot of our community, they don't have um, reliable means of transportation, or they might not have transportation at all. This is one way to give them access to all of our community has to offer. There are two routes, red and blue, with 20 stops each. Lane Phillips with the city of Statesboro says students, elderly, and people with disabilities use the bus often, and they get a discounted rate. Our biggest surprise is just the demand. We've continued to increase our ridership month over month. We're constantly getting requests from the public to add additional bus stops. Currently, they only take cash. She says as their program develops, they're looking to add more stops, fare cards, and a bus app. Bus fares only pay for about 10% of each ride. Phillips tells me they're looking for other grants or funding to make their expansion happen. In Statesboro, I'm Eden Hodges, WSAB News 3, on your side.